Aston Villa decided, unfortunately, Steve Bruce's utmost wasn't good enough. They have parted company. Steve, for you, is it harsh or reflection of the results so far this season? Um, well, we all know in football now that time is, is not on manager's side. But I just feel in that championship, things can turn around so quickly. Uh, I've experienced that. I know that there was on a bad run of form. I think, it, I think the whole thing stems from the, the summer as well. I mean, I watched the programme last night with yourself at Liam Bassini and what, what was said there about how it started in the summer and it, it just wasn't, the infrastructure just wasn't there. You know, going from mess, the appointment so, yeah. about Thierry Henry possibly coming in, the transfers, there was no one coming in. No one sort of knew what was going on with the club and it sort of filtered onto the pitch and it, and it sort of kind of showed in the way that they was playing because no one knew how they was playing. There was no identity. Uh, which is what you need as a football club, especially one the size of Aston Villa, because it is huge. Um, I just think it's a bit premature, because if you're going to want someone to get you out of that league, he's obviously got the pedigree. He's done it, has he done it four times, I think, in his, in his record? And as I say, in that, in that division, things can turn around for you so quickly. And with his man management and the players that there are there, and that I know in that dressing room, I think they would have turned it around. I mean, given that the team that reached the playoff final, they lost... The likes of Snodgrass, John Terry, Graben, Johnston, goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. When their loans came to a natural end, and they just weren't replaced with the sort of quality that left. No. So, do you, do you think that was given enough? If you like, um, th the fans gave them enough latitude for that. Well, one thing that you need in that division is leaders uh, and players that are going to dig deep because it's, it's a, it's a gruelling fixture list. Um, but you, what, you, what you can say is, is that the attacking lineup that they've got is one of the best in the, in the division, with Kodja, Balassi. Um, so, you know, there's, there's talent there. You know, it's just, it's just lost its way. But that's not the players, it's not the manager, I think it's the whole club. You know, the, the, the new owners that have come in don't, don't know what kind of style of football that they want to play. They're obviously going to get a, a shout now because I think all the backroom staff's gone. Kevin McDonald's going to take over, who I had the pleasure of working with as well when I was at Aston Villa, and he'll have the, 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 the club's interest at heart to, to do well. Um, but this is, this is a transitional period now for a, for a huge football club. I mean, I can't tell. I mean, I was taken back by how big the football club was when I walked in the doors. Um, Huge pressure. Uh, I feel sorry for Steve Bruce. I feel sorry for him. Craig, do you think there's a possibility as well that Steve Bruce has fallen victim to not only um, an impatient or impatient rather section of the Villa supporters who are entitled to their opinion, but also because he is an experienced manager, as Steve said, he's been around the block a lot, that there is a, a demand these days, perhaps younger managers or top name players to come in for that type of job. Is, is that currently a fashion as well? No, I, supporters are, are switched on to that. They, you know, they don't buy into it. They like to see experience coming into their football club. Um, owners can be a little bit different. Sometimes they want to go the name. They want to go someone who they, they believe might um, just that attraction, he's got this, he's won this, and this playing career is a name. Um, they might feel a lot more comfortable with that. It doesn't work, especially in the championship. It hasn't worked for a long, long time. Mm. But um, if you look at it from Steve Bruce, look, he's, he's ex Birmingham as well. So credit. Do you think that was a fact? No, I, to, be, to be honest, I thought Villa fans were really good towards yeah. that. You know, it was different when McLeish got the job. They were dead against it from the start. Mm. I thought they there was enough time. He's been one or two clubs during that period. And I, I thought they actually believed he was the right man to get him back up. Um, so, they, so they did get behind him. Um, this year was a mess because obviously they were looking to sell the You know, the owner at the time was looking to sell the club. Um, there was debt coming in. No one knew what was happening. And even the likes of... wasn't just the players because of their transfer embargo, who they, could, who they could bring in, you know, the financial fair play was playing a big... Um, had a big say in a lot of it, but also even players that... some of the top players who other clubs wanted, they didn't know who to deal with. There is, was no one given a yes or no at Villa at all until the last couple of days. Is the bottom line, though, um, and you have but aspirations... The bottom line... It's results. It is. 
It doesn't matter about... I mean, there was criticism of his style of football. Well, three, but wins, three wins. Three wins in 12 games. Um, I, I agree, Steve. It's like the, a week in a championship, nine points. Mm. It's a big difference. You know, yeah. this, this yes. week in a championship can... Sh honestly, it can... And you can go on a run, momentum in this league. He could have turned it round. I, he's, look, he's, he's got experience. And a lot of his teams have come late as well, if you understand. Even Villa last year... You know, came late, got into the playoffs late. So I believe they would have been there or thereabouts. But when I look at the squad as well, I quite like this squad. Yeah. For the championship, I think they're one of the best squads there. Um, if you're an owner and you're not too sure about the manager and you're looking at the squads you have, you're looking at the point return and also the run you've gone on, um, it hasn't been good enough. It hasn't been good enough. But I do believe they've made a mistake. I, look, he's the man you would want to... You know, well, to take you up. There's some interesting names in the frame for the job after Steve Bruce because there are, if you like, some traditional candidates, but some interesting ones as well. Dean Smith at Brentford, who's done a terrific job Very so good job. far there. Mm. Big Sam, as you would expect. John Terry, and also Thierry Henry once again. So some interesting types of candidates there. Dean Smith's appealing because I like his Brentford team. Um, I like, I just like him as a manager and. Am I right? I believe you told me actually he's, he's a Villa fan. Yes. Yep. That's not bad. Full of boxes. <laughs> he's very good football. Very, very Plays good. Very he, lo he just looks a very good manager, yeah. to be honest. His teams look... That would appeal to me if I was a director of football, if I was... Well, look, I've, we've got a few of the tweets there. from the Villa fans here. No-one wants Sam. He's exactly like Bruce. John Terry for me. New blood, fresh ideas and respected by everyone last season. I can understand the sentiment behind that, but John Terry is unproven as a coach. Yeah. Well, this is where it comes down to the owners. You know, they, they've obviously got rid of Steve Bruce because they want success now to go up. Mm -hmm. So, the next manager, how much time is that man going to be given? Yeah. You know, JT, obviously, a, JT will obviously know the, the club inside out, yeah, where he went he's last just year, and, and learn the ropes. Frank was Frank's unproven. He's not doing too bad a job compared to the people who have been proven have gone in over the last few years. So, um... okay, here's an interesting one as well from Daniel Bowden. Can Villa get back to being a top eight Premier League club over the next few years? Are Wolves proof it can be done? Financial backing does help. <laughs> you know, it, it does help. I believe if Villa go up and, listen, they, this man, you know, who they're owned by has a lot of money. Has a lot of money and he's willing, it looks like he's willing to spend it as well. So if he's willing to put in the same investment that Wolves owners have done, um, it's a club... I can look. It's a big club, it's, and I don't see any reason why, if they financially back them, which I'm sure I'm sure they will. And also, sorry, just a quick one: if they go from the Championship into the Premier League, it's a lot easier to do it. It's a lot easier to go and spend that type of money then, because your wages at the moment with Championship, even though it'd be still quite high, will be nowhere near as high as what Palace is and others will be. Gives you frees up a lot more money to go signing players.